All right, the obvious thing that you need to do first is download the app to your smartphone. It can be Android or iPhone. I'm using an iPhone here um, or an uh, iPad or a tablet, Android tablet. So I've downloaded the app and this is not currently connected to this, uh, to this unit. What I'm gonna do is go up here to the Bluetooth uh, emblem on the, uh, the OptiStar, uh, get it and hold it and you'll see when it engages you'll see the green Bluetooth logo appear on the screen itself. Once you see that you know that it's time to uh, go back to your device. We're going to go to setup there, Optistar 1, that is this device. We haven't named it anything specific. This is pretty much out of the box. We hit Optistar and it's downloading this. And it gives us our firmware version. What we know, we can manage firmware, we can update things. Um, but one thing I want to show you right away, and this is to show you the transparency that this unit gives that you haven't had in the past. It says send diagnostic data at the very bottom. I can click on that at any time when I log on now or 10 years from now. And what you're gonna see is you're gonna see your serial number, software revision, your hardware revision, um, how much time this gun has been uh, online or on time, coding time. This one has 37 seconds of coding time. It's a brand new gun out of the box. So that was probably in some testing. Uh, setup parameters, configuration parameters, and down at the bottom, sent from my iPhone. And I can put in whoever I want to send it to. I can change my email address to whichever one I want as my outgoing email and uh, send that data. Now, I'm going to delete that draft, go back here. And now you have your other features. Um, your line management, service, setup, and application. These are things that you're going to want to explore uh, once you get this unit installed. Uh, things that you can do uh, with your system. Here's the OptiStar 1. We've got what our settings are. I can actually change settings here that will effectively change there. So anyway, we're not going to go deep into this, into the rabbit hole but I did want to show you how easy it is to connect these two and to start working. And once you have one device paired, it will not pair another device. So you can actually set this up. If you're the manager of the operation or you're the one that does the powder coating with the gun and you don't want other people messing with it or changing recipes, whatnot, you're basically the only one that's connected. Nobody can bump you off. You have to, to remove your connection in order for somebody else to connect. So that's also very helpful. Hope this has helped you. Uh, another tech tip from AirPower Live with the GEMA e-app and Bluetooth connectivity with your GEMA OptiStar 4.0.